In this video, I'm going to show you how to work across multiple workbooks in Microsoft Excel. Or you can say in this video, we're gonna demonstrate how to sum numbers across multiple workbooks in Excel. Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial channel and we love making videos that help people save time and do their job more efficiently. And you're probably wondering if it's possible to add, multiply or you know deduct numbers across multiple workbook in excel so yes the answer is yes and it's very simple also suppose you have reports or sales report from january to december or weekly or monthly so you have those big big workbooks and separate workbooks here and you want to add those values in the separate report workbook then you can do it easily i know it's very confusing when i'm saying this but it will be very easy when i'm gonna demonstrate that for you so if you haven't subscribed to this channel do it because in the upcoming days we're gonna cover each and every functionality of microsoft excel and we also gonna cover other spreadsheets software there is on the internet so let's get started so here we have the three reports here and here we have the annual report so we have the feb january feb march here and when i click one of them we have these products sold which is the chips etc okay so this is the same you know data which we have covered in the sum between multiple worksheet so this is the same data sheets here but i have just put it in the different workbooks so this is very basic data but you may have the big data like this and this is just to show you how it works so what we need to do is we need to add all the all the values in jan feb march in the report workbook here so when i click on the report workbook here we have the empty values for the chips so the quantity sold should be the total of in total quantity sold of chips in jan feb and march right so how are we gonna do that just close all the workbooks here and click the, these workbooks once for all and click open so it will open all the tabs here so first you need to create external references for that you need report workbook where you're gonna you know want those data to be summarized so here we have the chips here first we need to enter the equal part which is the formula opener and here after that what we need to do is go to the view ribbon here and then click on the switch windows and now we have all the windows we have opened in our background which is the january february and march here right for the first value we need the january here so we go to the january here and don't click here and there just click the value which you want to be added so here we have the chips and 71 so i just click on the 71 now the thing is we need to apply to the rest of the value in the annual report so we don't need the absolute references here so with this symbol which is dollar symbol it gives us the expression of absolute references because it will fix this cell and won't apply to the all and to make it relative references we need to press f4 key here until this symbol will be gone so that's how you do it now add the add operator here and go to again view windows go to the feb same like that and make it relative reference like this and in the next part go to the switch windows again and go to the march click on just like that and make it relative reference again now click enter so here you got 254 of quantity sold in chip of chips in this quarter one so if we apply to all here we get it right so this is as simple as that but you may be asking what if we want to change the values in the jan feb march or we're gonna you know add more workbooks to it you can also do that easily see first we're gonna learn how we can deal with the values change part okay so for that we need to save it down here click Control plus s and close down all these windows right suppose you have some values to be changed in the jan part here and the value of uh, quantity sold of bags here is 146 the new value right and you just close it down here just click ctrl plus s and close it down 
and when you open the report workbook here you get the security warning what does it say it says the automatic of update has been disabled okay so the value hasn't changed here because we have incurred more quantities of sold of bag of 146 in the jan part as we have edited it but it doesn't add it here so to do that first we need to click on the in this security warning we need to click on the enable content and here we got the change because it changed by the 100 but now to do it automatically i just we want to tell excel to you know whenever i change my links here like whenever i change my data i want it updated automatically so to do that we need to edit all these links so how to do that you just need to go to the data and here queries and connections click on the edit links here so here we have the pop-up of added links where we have the sources here right we have the feb sources jan and march here and we have got the type worksheet and update if it's updated or not and status here so status part here is written as an unknown here what we need to do is we need to update all these values here okay when we click on the update here okay update values update values update is already done in the back but if we want to update it automatically here it says optimally click on startup prompt now if you don't want that alert message that happened a few moments ago in the yellow part then you just need to click this don't display the alert and update the links okay and to click just this button here and click ok and then click close now it won't display any alert and if we you know change any values there it will add automatically so pay, pay close attention to this this is a chips here 254 157 right now we're gonna add 100 more chips in the march worksheet here let's see if it, it adds as a 354 just click Control plus S for to save this workbook and close it down and go to the March and add 153 here. Okay, close it down. Control plus S and if we close this and click report section again. So yes, we got the 354 without any alert messages to be displayed and it will add automatically or update the links automatically. Hope you get to know how to work between the multiple workbooks here, right? With the help of external references how to create external references here like this and you can do it easily with any other calculation operations hope you get to know this if you have then please click the like button if you want to see such tips in the future then click the subscribe button and you can also follow on, on various social media handles which can be linked in the description box and you can also ask us any question in the comment box below see you in the next video until then bye bye